up, guys? Good morning. It's Ryan Rigg here, the host of your show, Fridays with Phil. We do this every Friday morning, 8 a.m., bright and early Central Standard Time. It is the first episode of the new year. If you've watched uh, last week's episode, it was episode one, season four, brand new season, brand new greatness. And we've got a very action-packed episode. You may not think so, but uh, I think so. So I think we should do what we do best and get right into today's brand new episode of Fridays with Fell. If you did not see this week, uh, last week we talked about the new Elgato HD60S that we received. We uploaded the review video of that and like setup installation tutorial. So make sure you guys check that video out. It is available on the channel. Awesome, awesome device. Uh, put up a video yesterday uh, using the new Game Capture HD60S. We recorded some Forza Horizon 3 gameplay and we uploaded it just directly to YouTube. We captured the raw file, the MP4, and uploaded directly to YouTube so you guys can see the quality of that HD60S. Absolutely beautiful in 1080p60, so make sure you guys definitely check that out. Don't want you to miss out. We've also got other gaming videos on the Gaming for Grandpa channel, but I would want you guys to check out the quality available with that HD60S. It's pretty epic. I know the drone's not gonna take off at any time. That would be cool though, wouldn't it, during an episode? Also, we got to move on because, like I said, we got a full episode and it would not be an episode unless we discuss some tech news. That is correct. And I've got some for you. Starting uh, January 5th is CES. That is correct. The Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Nevada it runs January 5th through the 8th. I'm sure a lot of you have probably seen new products, gaming gear, all kinds of things going on. Um, you know, if you do follow CES or any of the big, you know, tech people out there in the community, they're all posting just amazing things. I'm not there myself. We're right here in the studio talking to you guys. But a some greatness in today's episode uh, that could be seen or has been seen already at CES. So let's get into it right now. Those that use Panasonic GH4 are probably extremely happy to learn the GH5 is coming. That is correct. The brand new Panasonic GH5 is coming. And to be honest with you, shoots 4K 60 frame video. So you do have the option of 4K60 or 4K50, depending on your country. It also shoots QFHD, so it's 4K3840 by 2160 in uh, MOV, which is a file or MP4 uh, video. So you get faster frame rates, so you get a little bit better performance, and it'll kind of eliminate like that rolling shutter effect. So the brand new Lumix GH5 also does not have a recording limit of 30 minutes. So you can just record until your heart's content. Now, the great thing is it has 4 to 2 to 2 10-bit internal recording. Now, what that means to you is for the video professional, that 10-bit offers a lot more pixels in regard to color grading, uh, color correctness, uh, editing, and just overall the ability to have more in that shot uh, by pixel by pixel. So you can record in 10-bit to the SD card while simultaneously feeding like a live you know, to an Atomist recorder through the available HDMI. So you'll get, you know, like I said, you'll have a lot better color grading, better performance, a billion colors, and true pixel-to-pixel -pixel performance. So pretty sweet there, packed inside that GH5. Like I was talking about, has a full-size HDMI and live output. So you can get that 10-bit real-time output to an external monitor or recorder via the optional HDMI cable. And then while simultaneously, like we said, recording 10-bit, on your SD card. Now, the cool thing is, if you're encoding like ProRes, this is gonna work perfect, because you can send that over to your recorder while still having awesome 10-bit on the SD card, if that's what you choose to uh, do. Now, the uh, GH4, I believe, had 49 uh, focus points, and now the GH5 has 225 focus points, so considerable amount of greatness been packed into the gh5 as well as just the ability to you know select focus blocks inside like a focusing area overlay as you can see there on the screen so from 49 to 225 definitely a little bit more performance with that custom multi autofocus mode so you can even focus after the shot so you, you know give yourself really awesome depth of field photos and or video effect there and it's got five axis uh, dual image stabilization so no blur you know if you're hit handheld or not five axis dual image stabilization is going to make sure that your video is not shaky and that's for all lenses including like classic lenses and those equipped with uh, like ois so optical image stabilization so it's their new uh is stabilizer but five axis pretty sweet you see that in uh some of the sony cameras video cameras that are out right now so 
dual SD card slots, not one, two. That is correct, dual SD card slots. And there's different modes here. You can record like relay, backup, or simultaneous. The relay will allow you to swap a full card out for an empty, so you can virtually record endlessly without ever running out of storage. Pretty sweet feature there, having the dual slots, as well as, like I said, that HDMI to send to, you know, an external recorder. Very, very sweet. They give you a large OLED display, so 3680, 3680 K dots. So it's an OLED uh, live viewfinder. It's got magnification on there, makes it easy to see image detail, settings and icons. And it also indicates that if you wear glasses, it's gonna be great for that because it has a long eye point, uh, long eye point distance of 21 millimeters. So excellent for people who wear glasses, according to Panasonic. So pretty sweet having an OLED display there in your camera. I know, right? I want one <laughs> if I shoot on Canon. Uh, moving on, those that have a USB-C on your brand new MacBook Pro, or those that have, oh, look back up there, I kind of jumped one. But those who have maybe just USB-C on new Windows uh, PC, um, the new Thunderbolt 3 dock from Elgato, which is coming soon, is amazing. Now this is from Elgato, the same company that creates Elgato Gaming. This is their Thunderbolt 3 dock. One cable, no compromises. That's how they're pitching it. It's coming soon. Let's take a closer look at it. You've got gigabit, uh, gigabit Ethernet, audio in and out, USB 3.0, uh, there's three of those ports there. You also have Thunderbolt 3, two of them. Uh, display port, which is awesome. Now with the having, you know, that display port on there is gonna give you that ability to drive up to two uh, 4K60 displays, that is correct. So the, basically you got a built-in display, display the little, that's a tongue twister, built-in display, display port that can drive any display up to 4K at a resolution of 60 Hertz. So you're gonna get 4K resolution and frame rate 60 Hertz. Is that not awesome to have this simple dock, have your displays, your other peripherals connected through the high-speed USB-C? Uh, no compromise power. So what that means is standalone charging. It provides up to 85 watts of power, which is plenty to charge like uh, your MacBook Pro or a Windows laptop. So you're not gonna be carrying around bricks or anymore. This can stand alone and deliver that 85 watts of power. Very awesome, sweet looking dock. Kind of matches the color there of the MacBook Pro. You know, a lot of you guys have you know, upgrade to new MacBook, new MacBook Pro, and USB-C is the only port on there. So I know, you know, with SD card slots and different things like that, or, you know, a way to hook up ports without big ca cables and dongles and all that unnecessary uh, stuff, this would be the way to go. The other cool thing I saw was even your headphones can stay connected with the built-in amplified stereo audio port. So it's built-in, it's amplified and in stereo. So you're gonna get amazing quality. Uh, through audio still with a dock. I think it's pretty sweet to have all of that combined into one. So as we get more information, we'll let you know. For those that use Vine, you guys probably already know, Vine is shutting down and it is going to become Vine Camera on January 17th. So you'll still be able to go and like download your Vines or you know uh, save them to your device. Um, six second video is still gonna be a thing. It's just gonna be now under the Vine Camera app as it's called and basically you'll get six and a half second long clips. You can post them to Twitter or save them in uh, to your camera roll. So I'll leave a link for more information about Vine, like if you got any questions about that, but a lot of you that do use Vine already knew that, but still wanted to let you guys know it was worth mentioning in today's episode. Speaking of CES, I wish I was there to check out these new JBL E-Series. Uh, JBL by Harman, these are new E-Series headphones. Uh, JBL's uh, basically putting all of their ducks into this basket here with a lot of new products, including the E-Series. So you got the JBL Signature Sound, um, extended battery life, and it's got a like fabric for the headset part. So I wish I was at CS so we could get a little bit closer look um, at these headphones, but really good style. It's ergonomic, longer battery life, Bluetooth, um, as well as that JBL Signature Sound. So pretty sweet, the new E-Series uh, from JBL by Harman. Also, we reviewed uh, the JBL Pulse wireless Bluetooth speaker on this channel before, and now the new Pulse 3 is coming soon. It's also sitting over there in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show. But the JBL Pulse 3, fully waterproof, portable Bluetooth speaker. It's got the interactive light show, which was always a cool feature with that JBL. But the new light bar looks a little brighter, a little more vibrant. So I'm kind of excited to see it, maybe get my hands on it. I'm not sure. We've used a ton of Bluetooth speakers here uh, at my house or friends or on the channel. So definitely want to check that out. It's got a 12-hour rating on the battery. It's IPX7 rated, so it means it's waterproof. It's got the JBL Connect Plus built into that. 
So pretty sweet. You got a noise and echo canceling speaker phone, so you can make calls through the new JBL Pulse 3, JBL by Harman. They got an awesome booth set up at CES, well, at least what I saw on Twitter anyway. Uh, moving on, I know it would not be an episode if we didn't discuss some gaming news. And to be honest with you, gaming laptops are what's happening at CES. Big reminder, if you have not entered our 100,000 subscriber giveaway, make sure you do so. We're giving away an Xbox One and a PS4, not either or or, we're giving away both. Basically, there'll be two winners, we'll contact the winners, they'll get their pick, whether it be an Xbox One, a PS4, two Xbox Ones or two PS4s, it doesn't matter whatever that winner wants, it's gonna be winner choice. We'll leave that giveaway video, or the video we have on the channel, but I'll leave the link for the giveaway down below in the video description. Make sure you guys get entered, check it out, do not want you to miss out on that. Like I was talking about gaming laptops, there are a bulk of them showing up at CES, and one that caught my eye was the new uh, Project Valerie. That is correct, Project Valerie uh, from Razer. This has got a, it's the world's first automated triple display laptop. They've combined three 17 inch displays. It says it's automated, so I'm guessing it opens up and then they fold out. Oops, sorry, their propeller. And I, I can't imagine who would, I'm not, I mean, there are a ton of people that would want this. I think it would be really cool to see, but it's definitely a specialty gaming laptop packed full of uh, performance. So it's called Project Valerie um, from Razer. I know, right? This is epic. What a great day. Also, that new Acer Predator. It's called the Acer Predator 21X. Massive laptop, uh, 21 inch, 21 and a half inch curved screen featuring dual, not one, but two GTX 1080 desktop level graphic cards inside this laptop. It is a monster, it's a beast. I saw a video that uh, The Verge had posted on Twitter, so you guys can check that out, see a little bit more about this, but what an amazing gaming laptop to have two, two GTX 1080s. Now that's power, that's performance, rendering, editing, with a super clocked i7 processor, holy cow. I think the Predator 21X, according to The Verge, I think was $9,000 laptop. <laughs> Absolutely incredible, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, also want to get your opinion too. Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like on the video. Do you guys want to see gameplay videos like we used to do on this channel? We have not done them for a while because we've moved all the gameplays to our charity gaming channel in memory of my grandpa who passed from Alzheimer's, but still, nonetheless, wanted to ask you guys if you'd like to see gameplay videos on this channel. Let me know down in the comments below. I do value your feedback, and I think it would be cool to just showcase some videos here and there. Not a ton of them, but I also wanted to get your opinion before we made that jump and did that. Also, today, well, it comes out January 10th, but caught wind of this new red Xbox One controller. Now, the blue one was a custom one exclusive to Best Buy, which is now available actually through the Microsoft Store. But on January 10th, they've got this new kind of exclusive red Xbox One controller. Looks pretty sweet. Wanted to talk to you guys about it. I think the price point on that, on each of them, is $64.99 with the new one coming out, like I said, January 10th. Now, Mass Effect Andromeda, Xbox One, PS4, uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, and Windows PC. I know a lot of you, this is kind of like the fall, the after game for Mass Effect 3. This is what follows up. Should be released early 2017 is uh, what the sources there are indicating to me. So Mass Effect Andro Andromeda. I'm just full of tongue twisters today. But that'll be available, like I said, for uh, PC, uh, Xbox One. PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro, which tells me there are probably going to be some higher upscale graphics involved for the PS4 Pro. Very sweet for those Mass Effect fans out there. Didn't want to leave you guys hanging. Also, Nintendo Switch has a big presentation this year, live from Tokyo uh, next Thursday, January 12th at 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. Easter, kind of different times, but it's live from Tokyo. So we're probably going to hear a little bit more information about Nintendo Switch. I know we had talked about Nintendo Switch before, and now it's going to come up again. So I'll be checking out this presentation, and we'll probably talk about that um, in next week's episode, give you guys a little bit more information there. Please don't forget to check out all of our sponsors and partners. We'll leave them linked down below in the video description. These are the people that help us, the companies that help us deliver content, make content for you guys, or just overall provide you know something great or something that we use. And I wouldn't tell you about it if I didn't use it and feel uh, comfortable about it. So make sure you visit our friends at Elgato Gaming for all of your game capture needs. Use our link there, it just shows them that we're sending people to the website. We don't get paid or anything like that for it. It's just our way of giving back to the companies that have helped us here. 
Also, we talked about this last week, make sure you check out the PS4 trigger stops from our sponsor Trigger Devils. You can use discount code TEAMFELL and save money on Xbox One trigger stops or PS4 trigger stops. And these are great because you don't necessarily need to buy a big fancy controller if your objective is to just shoot faster. And that's the name of the game with Trigger Squad. Like I said, discount code TEAMFELL. Get you all set up over there. I know the owner, awesome guy. Check them out, Trigger Devils. Also, you already know we got the GT Omega Racing. You guys can save 5% with discount code TEAMFELL. So we've been using GT Omega Racing now, what, almost two years, I believe, or a year and a half. Love these chairs. The purple one is upstairs at my desk. I'm sitting in actually my son's uh, because it's downstairs and convenient. And I like the yellow with kind of the theme of what we're doing. Just kind of works. You know what I mean? So make sure you visit them. And for everybody that has already used our discount code, which I saw a ton of you had made orders, please upload your photos to social media and tag us because I love to share them, love to see, you know, what colors or which uh, model that you got. So make sure you check them out. GT Omega Racing. A lot of you have heard of them. In fact, a lot of you already own gaming chairs. So, but if you do not, Save 5%, get yourself free shipping in the USA. That is correct. Shout out also to our other sponsor, Prestige Zone. You can get crates, energy packs, grips, all kinds of greatness. We'll leave them linked down below. Also, discount code TEAMFELL, save you some coin. They've got worldwide shipping. They accept PayPal. They accept credit cards, debit cards, and their website's fully encrypted. So you're not going to have to worry about ever losing personal information or falling into the wrong hands. So big shout out to them. But guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Fridays with Fell. We do this every Friday morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Wanted to deliver a little bit of tech news, a little bit of gaming news, and then I'm going to be following up next week with more things that I saw via online at CES. But hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. Leave me some feedback if you'd like to see gameplay videos on the channel. If there's a product you'd like to see featured on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. Please drop a like on the episode number two, season four, first episode of 2017. Check out the other videos we did this week. But guys, I'm Ryan Rigg, the host of your show, Fridays with Phil. And uh, I guess we'll see you on another video or gameplay or episode or upload or whatever else I decide to do next. But thanks for watching. Happy Friday and have a good weekend and we'll see you guys.